<laughs> We've had a really amazing spell of weather in the northeast lately. Really hot temperatures, light winds, not much in terms of sea state. So myself and uh, Crazy Chris have tried to, to make the most of it and get quite a few paddles in just to put some miles back in the arms. But the weather was um, looking like it was going to turn. Things were going to get a little bit nastier again. The, the rain was coming, the winds were picking up. So just before this bad weather was due to hit, we thought we'd get in one more just pretty routine paddle again just with the aims of just just being on the water and just getting some more some more paddle fitness in so we did uh blythe down to saint mary's island uh, it was around high tide so you know saint mary's was cut off uh from the mainland at that time so you know island lighthouse lots of seals so it ticked a lot of boxes but it was you know a fairly routine kind of paddle um, however, uh, we had an encounter on the, the way back that made this anything but routine. In fact, um, I probably had my best 30 minutes ever in a sea kayak. We were paddling back towards Blythe and we, had, we knew that there'd been quite a lot of dolphin sightings in the area in the last few days. So we decided on the way back to, to head out offshore a little bit and we were maybe maybe a three quarters of a mile from shore. Uh, we thought you know that might increase our chances a little bit of, of seeing some dolphins. The night was pretty gloomy. Um, the clouds were, were, were rolling in, it was pretty low, it was a bit misty, there was rain on and off. So it wasn't the best conditions, but you know, visibility was still good enough. Um, and as we were paddling, um, sort of past Seaton Sluice, there was a small little blue and white boat with uh, three or four look like teenagers uh, on the boat going out. And we passed them, you know, waved hello as they passed. And about five minutes later, I was, I was chatting to Chris at the time, actually, Chris was chatting away, um, and I just heard this shout from the direction of this boat that got my attention because it was, it was quite a, an excited sort of shout and I just thought, hang on, you know, that's unusual. So I just, I was quite rude to Chris, actually, I apologise. I just said, shut up, and just listened. And same thing happened again. I, I thought, well, that's got to be dolphins. It just has to be. So we have very quickly started heading towards this boat. And sure enough, within like, you know, 10, 20 seconds, we started to see dolphins bow riding and uh, breaching all around this boat. So, you know, knowing that there were dolphins around and, and pretty close, we paddled further offshore, uh, hoping that we would, you know, get some coming to us. So we, we paddled out uh, actually past this boat and we could see there was a, a big group, you know, maybe about 20 dolphins in total. Um, in, you know, some of them were right next to this little boat. Others were further out on the horizon, all pretty acrobatic, you know, tail slapping, breaching. Um, pretty playful so we paddled on and we and then we carried on north um and sure enough a few of them came and checked us out and we had maybe 10 around us at one point um all around you know you could hear them sort of breathing you could hear them breaching loads We were, you know, obviously over the moon, uh, absolutely buzzing. It's always great to encounter dolphins, um, especially in, in the sea kayak. So we sort of just paddled around. Um, before I knew it, there was actually quite a gap that opened up between myself and Chris. Um, we were the same sort of distance offshore, but we were maybe a few hundred metres apart now. So, you know, Keeping safety in mind, I thought I'll, I'll paddle back to Chris, and I could see that there were dolphins, you know, near him and, and between us. And I, I thought, well, you know, I'm not gonna lose these dolphins; they're all around us. So I started paddling back towards Chris at some at some pace, and at that point, the dolphins just went wild. They absolutely loved it, and I had one basically bow ride 
underneath my kayak the whole way back to Chris and coming up and doing a few little sort of semi breaches, not full breaches, but you know, just popping up, letting me know it was there. Um, so, you know, at that point, just amazing. Like we were ecstatic, like buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Bow riding the whole way along. Unbelievable. But it, this went on. It just didn't stop for about 30 minutes. Uh, Chris had his mobile phone and was recording, and I think he's got something like 29 minutes of just non stop footage of these dolphins all around us. Coming in on Pens 2 on you, just coming in. Oh my god. And then, yeah, the whole thing on video. As we sat together, they were just playing around. You know, we could see them under our boats. And, you know, because they had really enjoyed it, it seemed to me, they'd really enjoyed it when I paddled on at pace. I thought, I'll do a couple of laps here and just see what happens. And, you know, I hadn't even put maybe five or 10 paddle strokes in and they were on me again, you know, two or three of them at a time, just underneath the boat. And I could feel, you know, the wave from them underneath the boat, picking the back of my boat up, almost like catching a wave. literally look into their eyes underneath the boat as you know I'm paddling and they're just effortlessly just zooming about underneath the boat just keeping pace and just being really playful really um, it was an absolutely amazing experience and and the more that I did this kind of you know paddling around at pace the more they seemed to grow in confidence and come closer and more breaches you know more of them together at the same time and this just you know 30 minutes of absolute joy it was absolutely unbelievable um got some great footage with the gopro which was on the deck uh, one of the few times actually that I'd, i had the gopro on the deck because normally i have a helmet on uh, but because we were just taking it easy that night i didn't wear one um, and normally that's where the gopro lives so i had it deck mounted and i, I only had it with me in case you know you never know what you're going to see so i only had it in case we got something like this so i'm really pleased that it was there um, and now we've managed to capture this just unbelievable Mate, encounter. Better than this, like. I'm not going to These were um, white beaked dolphins, so they tend to, to live further out in deeper water uh, off the farm deeps, so you don't normally see them around. It's only during the months of uh, July and August that they actually come inshore a little bit. Um, treating it like a bit of a nursery, I think, really. They are renowned for being, you know, incredibly playful, great bow riders, very acrobatic, and they really did put on a show for us. It was absolutely incredible. Um, we, I mean, it's it's literally like four days later now, and uh, you know, I'm still absolutely buzzing from the encounter. It was just something I'll never ever forget. Um, I've had a lot of dolphin encounters in Northumberland, you know, bottlenose. I've had white beak before one time, and they were very acrobatic that time as well. But there was something about just this kind of interaction that we had with them on this night, you know, and the the conditions as well. We were maybe a mile and a half offshore we could barely see land anymore because of the low mist and the and the cloud 
Um, we aimed for Blythe Harbour like coming back in, so I think it just all kind of added to the the feeling that this was a very, you know, pretty personal encounter with them really. Um, to see them literally looking at you as they're zooming about underneath the bow and then popping up um, every so often Absolutely was insane. just an absolute treat. It was so good. Uh, and we are, you know, all this paddling with the dolphins, we actually got a few more miles in our arms, I think, as well. So, yeah, good night all round, really, and one that we'll, we'll definitely not forget in a hurry.